In this video, uh, I will explain how to use Astware software to design a flexible pavement. So let us start the software. The software is in my computer. It is here. After you install the software, you need to activate it. After activating, you will get an icon on your desktop like this. So if I open it, uh, it says a license status is standard. It must be there. If it is unlicensed, you cannot use that. So you need to activate it after you purchase it. So if I press OK, uh, you will get this uh, the first window. It is blank. And there is nothing here. So what we will do? We will start a new um, a new pavement, new design pavement. Uh, okay. So if I click, uh, you can open. If you if you designed a pavement earlier or you already made something, you could open that file also. That is not a problem. As I did not do anything, I am using, I am doing a new project. Okay, so at the beginning, say project one, if I click project one, or oh, I already clicked it, so you can see everything is blank now. There is no information. So what we will do, we will assume a trial pavement and we will run it and we will check whether the distresses are within the limit. So if you see design type, you have to click here. It, is it a new pavement or overlay? So we can do both. Uh, this time I am doing new pavement. Overlay means you already have a pavement and you will add a thin layer so that your distresses becomes within the tolerable limit. So this time we are doing new pavement. So new pavement is done. Then pavement type, what type of pavement? Is it flexible, uh, jointed plain concrete or continuously reinforced concrete pavement? Uh, this time we will do flexible. If you do um, uh, jointed plane, you can do that. If it is continuously reinforced uh, concrete, you can do that. So we are starting uh, flexible. But wh whatever method, you, whatever pavement you choose, uh, it is similar. Just you need to input it and run it. So let us do flexible. Then what will be the design life? Uh, uh, it can be 20. 10 whatever it is but if it is 20 years it will take longer time to finish so i will do say uh, 10 years so that my when i will run it it runs very fast or even less or put at is it 10 10 so when the base construction that means when you will place your base material and compact it uh, so now, say i am uh, telling that okay i will place my base in august 21 and I will place my asphalt, that means pavement construction, in uh, say October. And I will open the traffic all in November because I need after the asphalt construction, we need some time uh, for the like geometry, rumble history, lane marking, everything. It needs some time, uh, three, four months at least total. Okay, but it 22, it looks so after base construction after one year we will do pavement uh, as per construction it looks so so uh, lengthy to me but it, it doesn't matter actually it's just whatever if your plan for the real project okay so we give the basic information and then you can see in this window is performance criteria that means uh, uh, what is your threshold value say uh, initial your IRI value will be um, uh, say 63 is your limit uh, and then okay then if I go uh, okay so initial value is 63 when you will build it and terminal will be 172 that means when my initial roughness will be uh, 172 and the pavement is filled or if you like you can change this value. You can see here. Uh, I can change the value if I want, but I'm not changing because it's trial. Then, as per concrete top down fatigue cracking percentage of lane area. When you will consider your pavement to be filled, 25% of the lane area is too high for interest pavement, major pavement. It may be good for uh, yeah, local roads or something, but it is up to you. When you will design the pavement, uh, the committee they will decide the or the design engineer he will decide so 10 is good for interested pavement to my logic 15 may be good for major highway 
20 may be also good for major highway or important roads. 25 um, good for local roads. If it is residential area, maybe 30, uh, 35 maximum sh should be good. That means if you say 25, it means 25 percent of your lane, lane yeah will be cracked for by uh, top down fatty cracking. Okay, similarly, this way um, you can define your threshold value. That means when your pavement will be failed. And then your reliability. At what reliability you want to do? 90% is a very common number. You can do 80, 70, but uh, yes, 90 is a very popular. I'm just showing here that you have the full flexibility to define your own threshold. Okay, then I will go to the layer. How many layer you are proposing? Here it is only one layer. And you can see as per layer, if I click as per here, everything is already shown because only one layer as per layer 10 is i do not think okay let us try 6 inch then what is the year word in your as per you can say you can change all the all the parameters whatever the material you will use you can change everything here and what will be your in, input level input level say creep compliance dynamic modulus you can do level 3 or you can click and choose level on if you choose level one, you have to give the exact information. If you choose level two, you have to give the average information. So now I am um, putting it as a three. Now again, I am sure uh, the again uh, I am telling you that you have the full flexibility in choosing your material and properties. Then binder. What kind of binder you will choose? If I click here, uh, if you use super paper PC grade that means performance grade you can choose this as uh, binder you can use viscosity uh, grade you can use penetration grade but these two are so old nowadays we use this now how to choose this binder that is a different story you saw it in your asphalt mix design class uh, this binder depends on the um, temperature of your pavement the single day minimum temperature and the seven day maximum temperature. The first one represent the max, the second one represent the second minus 22 represent the minimum temperature. So let us um, select uh, now as it is a trail pavement doesn't matter. I'm choosing 728. Okay, so if I click outside, it gone. Now you can see once I did it, this AC layer it now it is yellow all must be green to run it so that means something wrong is still the ACL layer if i click it uh, yes i have to check this value so i checked it now see it is green so it is good okay so below the asphalt i would like to add a base layer okay so uh, it can be non-stabilized based it can be sandwiched granular whatever you like it's yes, uh, non-stabilized non-stabilized means you do not put lime or conch, uh, cement in the base material say your um, base layer is a to four it's a very common and what will be thickness you can change the thickness say you are uh, recommending 18 okay then you can change all the other um, other parameter of the base base material and then select okay so base is done here if you want to add a subgrade okay add a subgrade after after base layer after base layer, you want to add a subgrade. What kind of material? Say it is a six. I'm just assuming uh, for your real pavement, whatever you uh, you have, you can use that. Okay. So I added the last layer will be by default infinity, semi infinity. Okay. So I put three layers. Now if you want to delete one layer, select and remove, or this layer, select and remove, and then add a new layer. So you can add any time. You can delete any time. But okay, now mm, to make the video length short, this is done. Uh, traffic, okay, click traffic here. What is your two way annual average daily track traffic? 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, whatever your, your traffic, say 5,000. Number of lanes, how many number of lanes in your pavement? Percent of track, you can change this value. Percent tracks in the design lane, whatever your design lane operational speed so you can do whatever is your uh, measurement if you do exact analysis you have to input all this parameter and by this time you already know how to design how to determine these values it is all about doing the survey in your pavement 
uh, in the area and the pavement and collect the data. You can choose all the distribution. You can define your monthly adjustment factor. You can measure it in your site. Uh, you can choose this like classification. So vehicle class, class 4, uh, single this. No, this is Excel per track. So how many Excel per track? You can measure it, you can input it, or you can use the default. Something else is your uh, load expect, expecta. So if I click here, single load. If it is single load, uh, what is the percentage of 3000 pound in January class 4, in January class 5? In this way, if you generate this data, say if I go here in October class 4, uh, 3000 pound was 1.8%. So in this way, this is load expecta. This is very important uh, because it will show your total load variation during uh, like the month, um, like if during month even all class. Like how many? How what is the percentage of three thousand pound, four thousand pound, nine thousand pound in January, in March? Now. If you measure it in your pavement site using way in motion station, it's good. Use it. If you do not, uh, if you did not measure it, then just uh, leave it, leave it as it is the default value. Okay, now it looks so big, but yes, if you, your way in motion will give you a file, you can just import this file. You can see here import. You can just import your uh, file here. Okay, then so. The, this is a tandem Excel, Tridem Excel, Core Excel. You can change whatever you like. Okay, so if I go back, if I go back to here, yes, if you click, oh, I did not save my project. It is a good time to save. Say I'm saving at project two uh, in my desktop. So project two, I saved it. Okay, you can see the traffic is green now, so you can run it. Uh, the property, the uh, pavement layers, all are green. This is yellow. That means I need to see. If it is yellow, you can run it, but it is giving you a warning to see. If I go there, what is to see? It is telling me, okay, save, save everything. Whatever you input, okay, I'm happy whatever I gave you. Now, climate. So, Climate is also important because your climate will determine the pavement temperature, uh, like the rainfall, humidity, everything. So we have to do it. So if I click climate, I got this window. You can say climate station. I did not send it. I did not set it. I have to find. Okay, so for now, say I am doing it in, in Illinois. So if I do it, now these are the climate station it is showing here how many three three six eight now there are about four thousand climate station all over the us as i am using it educational versus of this license i am seeing only few but if your license is like a standard license uh, which cost about six thousand dollar per year currently in uh, but it may increase it may decrease that will show you here thousands of climate stations. Then you can go and pick. And also you can extrapolate. You can choose these two and extrapolate your station here. So now I will just uh, say select uh, Illinois, what is say Illinois. So I selected Illinois. You can see here, now all the parameters or the climate, it came inside here. What is the average temperature in July, August, uh, rainfall, everything, everything will come here freezing index that means number of days the temperature will be below 32 so temperature and multiplication of days so that is a different story okay so if you, you can just import the climate so everything is now okay okay i will save one more time to make sure i do not lose any data now your tools if you go to tools uh, option so in the option you can uh, generate excel report that means after the running it, uh, whatever your distress is, you will see it in Excel. Okay, I said yes, true. Uh, you can't choose no, false means no. I'm saying true. And hopefully everything is done. Uh, okay, I'm saving again. And click this button, check everything is green. Now I can do more. 
I can discuss more but uh, it will make my video so long and at least you got the idea that here it is just load it click everything input it whatever input in your material in your traffic in your climate input it make everything green and then choose your excel option if you like to see the option otherwise you'll get only a pdf then before running save because who knows uh, if it crashes then you will lose it then i will run okay so this is the uh, run button very simple yeah. just click it it will you, you saw some changes after i clicked it and it will show here if it is uh, running it is showing generating inputs that means it looks that it is running and as it is 10 years it may take several uh, minutes okay so as it is running i should not waste my time what i will do i will say discuss something here okay so let it run and then uh, say here input level 3 you can choose input level 2 input level 1 input level 1 means you are um, you are giving exact information to the point that means you will you want to field collect all the data all the traffic information and then you are inputting level 2 means like you do not have exact information but you have very similar information in your state or in your region uh, it's some information that is two three means mostly a uh, default value you do not have any ex exact uh, information uh, it was just um, borrowing from the national average data now if you click it more then you will see they will give you stable to input the uh, dynamic modulus whatever everything okay so yes it is still um, running it and after it is after it is run they will give us uh, a word file and a excel file because i requested the excel file if you do not request the excel file i requested here tools option i clicked uh, generate excel true so they will give me some excel file mm, hopefully they will give unless there is an, anything wrong okay anything else to discuss here yes as i discuss here also you can delete any layer if you make a mistake you can insert again just add layer uh, and then add a layer you can if you want to change any input that click it will show here then you can click say it is generating the uh, report that means the excel and the pdf so that uh, say so it is almost done okay so uh, let it generate if i want to discuss more uh, yes in load uh, distribution uh, to, to to count or to determine this value you need way in motion sensor that is a costly sensor and it collects all the data and process it so yes it is showing the um, pdf directly without clicking anything so you can see here whatever your input was and this is the summary this is the summary your target was iri cannot exceed 172 after 10 years of running uh, your predicted is 118 so it is good uh, permanent deformation that means rotting target was 0.75 inch you got only 0.34 inch so it's a good bottom up cracking your target was 25 percent it is giving only 1.7 percent so you can see everywhere your pavement is good but at the same time you can see there is over design that means you paid you your target 172 it is giving only 118 so you can go back and decrease this layer thickness so that your pavement becomes economical i think you understood what i mean you do not need to over design it you can design a very very good pavement in a residential area but it will cost a lot i think you do not want it so you should go back and change the layer thickness or choose some inferior quality material you may not need the a to 4 is very high quality material typically we use it for uh, interested a6 uh, subgrade is a, is okay it's a normal subgrade you will find everywhere but this is very good quality material so you may you can decrease it maybe one inch 1.5 inch or even two inch 
as per thickness maybe you can decrease by one and come back and check here if any parameter says is failed it doesn't mean actually it failed you have to just say your target is 25 you got here 26 is it huge gap no if you tar your target 25 percent cracking you, you are expecting 26 should be okay so it is up to you to judge and whatever you are doing it is just a software analysis in real life it may change a, a little bit okay so if i go to below that then you will show all the chart how your rating is increasing everything here everything it will show um, the summary uh, like here whatever your input whatever your vehicle distribution what is what was your traffic wonder excel configuration number of excel per track whatever was your input monthly adjustment factor it is easier all the inputs they listed and the output over time they input now you can see more now i will open the excel file excel file i saved it in desktop in project 2 you can see the excel file is here so in grand summary page number one is a grand summary your basic information and your uh, analysis result is here you can see more you can see more here the most important i want to show you if i go here distress not distress chart distress data somewhere you will see distress data Mm. yes you can see here uh, you got all the in whatever inputs you put it here is there traffic distribution it is there excel configuration it is there so it is not like anything big detail analysis so if, yes this not distress chart distress data here so this table is very important to me so it is with time this is the main predicted that means at 50% reliability this is at 90% reliability so if you want to see something you can plot this and your permanent deformation with time in fact your software already plotted it you can see how your permanent deformation is increasing with your uh, pavement so if you want to analyze more you can use this excel sheet and this way uh, they did up to 10 years because our design life was 10 years so this art we use a lot in fact i use a lot um, for uh, any research uh, type job like what kind of research you do here you can just simply change the base material and find the distress and then you compare how you when you are changing the base material how your distress is is affecting so this can be a very mini conference type uh, research project okay so once it is done it is saved and your um, uh, your data is everything wherever you saved it is there the uh, a pdf and your excel you can generate other kind of data also just you have to go to uh, you have to go to this option and choose what else do you need do you want extracts or response that means the stress is strain yes you can do that just click here and then whatever else locate but you do not need it just mainly these two excel report and extracts or response extracts or response means stress strain um all this data and deformation also so hopefully if i go back hopefully you understood this how to design a pavement using astroware software uh, okay then now you can start practicing and playing here there is nothing serious just select your pavement give all the, your threshold value give the material or your target lay, uh, geometry give the traffic input and then save it run it and done very simple but again design is never a single process it is a loop it is a loop loop means it's a continuous process after you design you can see that oh no i am not happy uh, i am not uh, sorry that i am not happy with this then can i change my base layer yes then go back change your base layer or you design with a to four and after sometimes you realized you do not have this material 
available in your pavement. What can you do? You can change the base layer, rerun again and check your distresses. So this is our milestone. This is the analysis result. Okay, so I will wrap up here. I uh, hope you understood. Uh, thank you.